Today I'm bringing you something from Morbid Angel's greatest classics, The Altars of Madness. I mean, it's just, just a great fucking uh, song, Immortal Rights here. It's the debut studio album off of Florida-based death metal, Mort Band, Morbid Angel. It was released on May 12, 1989 through Combat Records slash Earache Records. The album was recorded in December 1988 at Morrison Recording in Tampa, Florida. The album is one of the earliest examples of death metal and considered to have helped pioneer the sound along with Possessed Seven Churches in 1985, Death Scream, Bloody Gore in 1987, 1987 and set a new precedent for heaviness and extreme extremity, both musically and lyrically, and I have to agree 100% with that. The overly satanic and occult like lyrical themes were a significant influence on the early Norwegian black metal death scene, which I also fucking love. Uh, a little bit about the music style here. Frontman David Vincent's vocal style was influenced by the early English grindcore scene and fellow Floridian Chuck Scheindler of death. The album's style is also characterized by extremely fast performances, complex compositions, and technically demanding music ship guitarist Trey Azagoth, one of my favorites, has noted that the psychedelic mu music was an inspiration for his writing on the album, particularly influenced by Pink Floyd, which I also love Pink Floyd. So yeah, man, I had this album back in the day. Uh, kick ass. Uh, I've chose Immortal Rights, but all the songs on here are classics. All the songs are great. You can't go wrong with any of them. Check this shit out if you haven't, and I'll talk to you later.
Yeah.